Wow. This is my first video. There's my amp. This is what I made. It's a fret lemming tool from a square. As you can see. Anyway, it's got grooves in it for the frets. Look at my mess. Come on, guitar I got. By the one. My acoustic. There's my Ebenhaz. It's a 1985 IRS 135L. Left hand. Real Star 2 series, you can tell. And you take it. Don't have the strings off, I'm just showing you. It's supposed to fit in there anyway, right there. Like so. There it is. Ain't that nice? Made from a square. These things run around about 15 to 50 bucks or more. But you check on eBay. But you do the shipping and handling. It'd be about 50 bucks. Or it depends on where you get it. If you live in the States, it'd be cheaper. But where you live in Canada, where I live in Canada, a little bit more. I have got this back in 1990. As you can tell. There it is. It's a B focus there. Just made in Ch Japan. It's an Ibanez. And I've been having problems with this thing for a number of years. Inside, I took all this off, and there was no shielding in here. The shielding I used was this stuff. It's duct tape for furnace ducts. I can see my mess. And the little tool I used for leveling was this little thing right here. As you can see the groove in it. Go on there with sandpaper. Guy on line show that you pay $19.95 his price, but I made my own. Sandpaper like 400, 220, 400, and steel wool. You go a little lower, and there's my leveling things. That's my level level up here. And I also went to using a battery. It works. As you can see, just level, no rocking. Oops, sorry. Right there. And my two millimeter for checking the frets. All the notations good on it. it. Works great. Now I got a little fret ping down here and there, but not much, not much now. Just a little bit here and there, a little bit of fret ping, because I got the frets down as much as I could. I can't go any further. I can tell I hit there. And little scuff marks here and there. What do you expect for a 1985? But this little thing that you made, as you can see, you tell the friggin' lights on, I don't need the light on, the flash lights on. But it works. And the files I used are right here. First, I put this one into A drill press broke off the end, but these here I had I had these files before about where I moved. I couldn't find them, so I had to go buy another set. And this was about fifteen dollars. Those here ain't saying what price they are because they jump around in price. But anyway, I first started with the triangle, got the groove, and then used the file, put that on vice grips, and just went back and forth in the vice. And that's what you get, but I have to do some more work on this end here, because that hole there is not right. But in time, I'm going to make it back further. 
that hole and it works <sighs> so I bought, got this back in 1990 and I still have it I changed the knobs the knob that will run is right here and the pickups a little bit dirty there a little bit of dirt here and there but I have to uh, clean it up a bit Because the steel wall I'm using, it's got that powder in it. I can't, you can't up here for some apparent reason. You can't get steel without the freaking soap in it. But uh, if you want to uh, put it in water, soak it, get the get the uh, soap out of it, and then let it air dry or dry it with a heat gun or something works or air dryer. And there's my little tools I use and. But all in all, I'm going to take the rest of this here and make my triangle. As you can tell, it goes this way. Well, take a marker, you'll see them on the back of this. It goes like this. And like this, and like that, and like that. That thing there for checking your frets. Drop my pin. I'm gonna do that. Make it out of this, and use some more of this for for my guitar. But oh no, there's my line six, my ammo hole. That's about I got second hand from Long McQuaid up in the minus for three forty nine. It was nine hundred ninety nine dollar guitar. Got Seymour Duncan and a Jet Seymour Duncan pickup. I can see right there. And the jazz pickup. I can't remember what it is, but see them all. And there's my 150. Well, my Epiphone Les Paul Special Edition. And there's my acoustic. But back to this. I had this and I had problems with this neck for a number of years. I had it in two shops and they said they couldn't fix it. Well, I got some fret ping up here, rattle, because I have to do some more work on here because the frets are not right. But they need probably need some new frets put in it, but uh they said that the neck's warped, but I got the neck unwarped. And it's has a tremor bar. And there she be. It's upside down and all that. But there it is. It's got a little chip there. It's in bed, a little rough shape. And that's from that's from sanding, but it needs a good polishing after a bit, but anyway. And I put that on there. It's that. Where did I put that tape? Right there. It's that stuff right here. I mean a stencil. I put ice bananas on there. And I changed these buckets, these buttons here are off of the Epiphone because I put, I put, uh, skulls on the Epiphone. Got them offline, online, for a couple bucks. Got those pickups. Not really pleased with them because they sound tinny. Because the other pickups are right here from it. As you can see, they're all right, but they're, they're too raunchy for that. And they, if you like ACDC, which I do, and that's what they sound like, almost like ACDC. And they're not, they're loud, but those pickups sounds, these pickups sounds better than those pickups. But I got more, I got some that are set online. They're, they're, they're all right, but I had to adjust them up to make it sound rock properly but I don't like them so I'm getting another set they're black and off white set and I'll put in there if they don't work I'm gonna put those one back in there or I'll go somewhere and see if I can get some better set. Well there it is my Epiphone my Abanan I should say and I little gear get up
to the maid. So anyway, there it is. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you don't, all I can say, enjoy your day. But, fight switch, got that little toggle switch on it. And I don't know, it's not a bad guitar, even though it's a imitation Strat, as you can tell. Just I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you.